Time now for your JCTV Daily News Update with the latest in news. She said the virus moves in waves and expects another upward trend in the spring. Covering your local weather. The sun will come out a little on Sunday uh, to warm up to about a high of 30. And the latest in Jimmy Athletics. Looks pretty good. Farkas for three right corner. Got it! For your JCTV Daily News Update, here's Richard Schmidt. Good evening and welcome to your Wednesday news update. In state news, West Fargo police say it appears whoever stole money from a safe in the gambling area of a bar was an experienced thief, according to the Associated Press. Detective Sergeant J uh, Greg Warren says a cleaning crew early Monday found the gambling area at Three Lions Pub dismantled. He says two cabinets were opened, the door handle on the back door was broken, and the video surveillance system was disconnected. Warren says the thief cracked open the metal safe with a power saw and other tools and got away with an undisclosed amount of cash. In state political news, a Ken Mayer man says he will challenge Republican congressional candidate Rick Berg in the primary election in June. J.D. Donahue has lived in North Dakota for two years and runs an energy company in Ken Mayer. He says he plans to run in the primary because he doesn't think the convention system gives a voice to all North Dakotans. Republicans during their state convention earlier this month endorsed Berg, a state representative from Fargo, as their preferred candidate for the U.S. House. Berg, Donahue, and two others competed for the endorsement. Incumbent Democratic Representative Earl Pomeroy is seeking his 10th House term. In state farming news, the Agriculture Department says North Dakota farmers this year are expected to plant more spring wheat but less durum wheat, according to the Associated Press. Spring wheat is used in bread products and is North Dakota's staple crop. Farmers are expected to plant 6.7 million acres, up 4% from last year. Acres of durum, which is used for pasta, are expected to be down 9% to 1.5 million. The Agriculture Department says an increase in acres is expected in North Dakota for corn, canola, sunflowers, sugar beets, lentils, flaxseed, and dry edible beans. Barley, oats, hay, and winter wheat acres are expected to drop. Dry edible pea acres are expected to be unchanged in the state. The estimates released today are based on farmer surveys in early March. Information on actual plantings will be obtained in early June. Well, the dry 60 degree temperatures we've been experiencing are likely to be replaced with 40 degree temperatures, rain, and snow the next few days. I know it sucks, right? We have a few 50% uh, chance of rain tonight with a low just above freezing. There'll be plenty of clouds in the sky tomorrow and there's a 70% chance they're going to drop rain during the day and a rain-snow mix in the evening. Our low will be around 33 degrees tomorrow night, so it's likely the roads will be slippery as students travel home for Easter break. There's a 40% chance the rain-snow mix will stick around into Friday with a high temperature of 47. On Saturday, we should see some slight showers in the area, but that should clear up into mostly sunny skies and 50 degree temperatures for Easter Sunday. Monday's high will, be, will reach around 60 degrees, but there's a slight chance of rain. Well, the favorable weather we've had lately has excited the Jimmy baseball and softball teams. Both teams only played a few games at home last year because the fields were just too wet. Well, today the Jimmy softball team had their first shot at making their home crowd happy. The women looked to better their 12-6 record today after losing a double header yesterday at Division II University of Mary, 1-9, and 5 to 13. The Jimmies were out hit 31 to 17 against Mary. Well, they hosted Division II Northern State University this afternoon. We'll have more for that on, for you tomorrow. Uh, but the next home game for the women is next Tuesday at 3 p.m. against Dakota Athletic Conference rival Valley City State. The men's baseball game scheduled today at Northern State was canceled. So now they're going to be hosting their first home game versus Valley City State. Monday at 2 p.m. Well, that's all for you that we have for you today. Tune in tomorrow for our last update before Easter break. I'm Richard Schmidt, connecting the campus with the community. Enjoy yourself, Jamestown.